So to answer the age old question of what cards to use, I'm going to go ahead and go through that now. So here we have a bunch of cards, right? The most important thing is to match them properly. If you see at the top left corner, each of them has a different symbol, right? They all have different symbols. So, um, there are basically two types of guards. There are those that are meant to work with a single march of that troop type, and there are those that are meant to uh, work with multiple, uh, you know, different types of, uh, of troops, like, you know, all three, like infantry, cavalry, and distance, or infantry, cavalry. So I'm going to go through those real quick. Um, first of all, this is a cavalry guard and if you pop that little icon right there you'll see yes it's cavalry guard and it'll tell you about you know what you get um, based on this last little skill at the bottom here it's the, always the one uh, the last one right so what you want to do is let's say I'm gonna do a full cavalry march well what I want to do is I want to do a march that is gonna match two of those symbols. So if you look here, you'll see that Jacob von Helsing and Lady de Winter both match, right? So he is a cavalry guard and she is also a cavalry guard. Now the, the, uh, the last skill will not always be the same, but they often, you know, work well together. Um, you have the same thing for, for instance, uh, distance here. You got her, she's distance, and she will match with another distance guard, for instance, Lucian. And their final, you know, their last things will, will usually coincide. Um, now, just FYI, the time of troop specific marches where you're doing all cavalry or all infantry those times have passed they don't work anymore because we have different types of guards now that are um, much more powerful so let's go through kind of what they are um, the first is um, the strength guard or uh, sorry heavy duty guard uh, Aramis is a good example now the first uh, the first example of this was when people started marching Aramis and Anne with, um, with infantry and cavalry march. So Aramis goes very good with infantry and cavalry. Um, but if you're going to do that, you're going to want to match him with somebody else who's very similar, like if you look at Bella. Now, you've probably already heard that Bella and Donna together are a very, <laughs> very brutal march, and they are. And if you look at Bella, she's also a heavy-duty guard, as is, where the hell's Donna? Ah, there's Donna right here. She's also a heavy duty guard. I just don't have her maxed yet. So heavy duty guards are usually best with just infantry and cavalry. Although you can go like infantry, cavalry distance. Um, but they're best with infantry, cavalry. The next you have is the firepower guards. That would be like Jaquette is a great example. She's a firepower guard. You know, as you can see from the, the thing there. So um, if you're looking at Jaquette, now you're looking at other firepower guards that you can match with her. So Jaquette and Malik, uh, Jaquette and Luna, Malik and Aluna, which you already know is probably, which you probably already know is a pretty devastating march. And obviously there's not very many of those. Uh, the third type, and it's, uh, they just introduced a new person that I just got. Um, and that is Arthur Wiley, and he is a bravery guard. Bravery guards are very focused on cavalry, um, but they do require infantry. Now, keep in mind that all of these three that I just mentioned, the heavy-duty guard, the firepower guard, and the, um, uh, the bravery guard, they all require infantry. All of them depend on you infantry surviving. As soon as your infantry dies, anything else, all the other troop types immediately just die. <laughs> they're just 
all, all everything's gone because they all depend on you having infantry. So if you're going to use <clears throat> um, any of those three types, you're going to want to have more than half of your march be infantry, and then the last part of your march be either cavalry if you're doing you know the heavy duty guard, or uh, or or actually or even the uh, the bravery guards, or um, distance or cavalry and distance for uh, for firepower. Hoping this all makes sense. Basically, what it boils down to is match these little thing, you know, those little things on the top of top left, match them. Do not put two guards together that do not match. I don't care how many stars they have. Um, if I put Jaquette with a one star a or two star Aluna who's only at sixty three, I will still get better benefits. As long as his skills are maxed out, I will still get better benefits than her with a mix-matched guard. And when I say max benefits, I'm talking about at the bottom here. That one on the end is the most important. That's the one you can't get until the first one is maxed out to 10. So match your guards and then think about what you're trying to do. Right? So, you know, keep in mind the whole, uh, you know, the whole hierarchy of the way things work, right? So, uh, infantry is stronger um, against cavalry, but weaker against distance. Cavalry is stronger against distance, weaker against infantry. And then, uh, obviously, distance is weaker against cavalry, stronger against uh, infantry. So, if you keep that in mind, then you put to get then you know the right kind of march to put together, depending on who you're hitting and the enemy or whatever. And then, if you know what kind of march you need, you know the guards that will match it. Right. So, if you're going to go straight cavalry, maybe you'll go with a Van Helsing Milady, or you know, one of the two of those in Gaston or whoever. If, if you're going to go straight infantry, you're going to die, so don't do that. Um, if you're going to go straight distance, maybe it'll be Lucian and Lamoppin or, uh, you know, one of those. But if you're, you know, the, the best thing to do nowadays usually is to do a mixed march with either, you know, uh, you know, the three that I talked about, heavy duty, firepower, or bravery, and, you know, Mix two together that work for that. And just keep in mind that the heavy duty is really focused on cavalry, as is the, um, the, God, why can't I remember that? The bravery guards. They're also very heavy on cavalry. All right. Hopefully this helps. And, well, you know me, I'm always available. So if you have any questions, just ask.